Hey guys, I'm Smarty, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a low-poly rock in the newer versions of Blender. I know there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube that show you how to make low-poly rocks, but they're all in older versions of Blender. So this tutorial is going to show you a few ways to make low-poly rocks, and I'll also have a video linked at the end on how to import them to Roblox Studio and everything like that. So, without further ado, let's open up Blender. Okay, so in Blender, you're going to go ahead and just delete everything you see here for this first method hit it uh, select everything hit X and hit delete so now what we're gonna do is hit shift a on our keyboard and then um, this menu will come up to add a mesh um, you can also just hit add up here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a ICO spear so this first method involves just using this ICO spear uh, it's definitely the easiest out of all of these and um, so with this spear, you can choose how uh, detailed your rock, you want your rock to be. So, by going down here, don't click anywhere else, otherwise it'll cancel this menu out. But uh, go down here, open this up, and uh, you can change the subdivisions here. So we can change this to be a little bit higher poly, or we can just lower that. I'm going to do one, because I just want a super low poly rock for this. So I'm just going to do that, and now... Um, we're going to go into edit mode by pressing tab and right over here we're going to go and we're going to choose the randomize tool. Sometimes you have to press and hold. If this is a different tool right here that says like, if this is the smooth tool, it might start as the smooth tool. Uh, press and hold and just drag to randomize. And then uh, you'll get this little uh, dot here and you're just going to need to pull on this. And this will basically shape your rock. Um, kind of randomize where everything's at. And... Uh, as you can see, that was really quick, and the rock's pretty much done. You can also right-click, hit Shade Smooth if you want to smooth the rock. Um, we can also add, go over here and add a Subdivision Surface modifier if we want it a little more detailed. Um, I'm going to do that, and then also, if your mesh is coming out with these, like, uh, four vertices, you know, with a triangulated look, you can just add another modifier, triangulate. No. We'll make things look a little more triangulated. So, uh, the second method is with the cube, we're gonna make uh, low poly rocks. So, I already made a tutorial on this before, but it's old and my mic was garbage back then. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that again right here. All right, so we're just gonna add a cube by hitting Shift A or clicking Add up here. And then I'm gonna add that cube. And then we're just gonna go over to the Add Modifiers panel, the wrench. Add a modifier, subdivision surface, and then uh, we can change the viewport here to um, change how high poly our mesh is. Just gonna leave it at one for now. I'm gonna add a displace modifier, which basically will change the vertices based on a texture. I'll show you that in a second. So uh, add modifier, and it's gonna be under deform displace. All right, so um, we're gonna add a new texture clicking new and then we're gonna go to the textures panel uh, change the type to Voronoi and from there we can change these values to change the shape of the rock I noticed that lowering this second value can give you a lot of options I'm gonna lower mine to like I think that looks good all right and then uh, after that I'm gonna go back to the wrench and um, I'm going to add a triangulate modifier. And I'm just gonna go and go through and hit apply on all of these. And that'll make the rock look a lot different, but um, now uh, we can do that randomize and we can get some really cool formations there. Also shade smooth. So yeah, you can basically skip any of those steps to like change the rock. All right, guys, uh, to import this mesh, you're gonna wanna click the video that's popping up on screen right now. And also, you're gonna wanna make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more Roblox content on my channel. Um, yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.